The Greater Columbus Arts Council presents the finalists for the Columbus Makes Art Excellence Awards in the category of organizations with budgets under $1 million. A Tribe for Jazz for an exploration of emotions and color through jazz music. In the fall of 2021, A Tribe for Jazz created an exploration of emotions and color through jazz music, a unique five-step program designed for elementary and middle school students in grades four through eight. Piloted in Columbus City Schools on the west side, the program used improvisational jazz music and color theory, showcased through film, to teach social-emotional learning principles to students who were impacted by the pandemic. Through the program, students engaged in social-emotional learning exercises, watched portions of a jazz film featuring Filipino-American saxophonist John Irabagan, created collaborative visual pieces inspired by the film, and explained the work they created to their peers. They even got to do a virtual interaction with Irabagan himself. Reaching students at a key moment in their social and emotional development, an exploration of emotions and color through jazz music, used music and visual art to give them new tools for self-expression, self-awareness, confidence, concentration, and motivation. The project was warmly received by educators across the city who recognized the power it gave children to express themselves in transformative ways. The Peggy R. McConnell Art Center for Post No Ills, featuring Lance Johnson. In early 2022, the Peggy R. McConnell Arts Center of Worthington featured Columbus-based aerosol artist Lance Johnson in a multidisciplinary celebration of graffiti art titled Post No Ills. Inspired by flyers on the streets of New York City dictating Post No Bills, Lance Johnson's exhibition explored urban art in a suburban setting. While the exhibition formed the core of the show, Post No Ills also featured dozens of local artists in free public programming that included dance, music, spoken word, fashion, and film. Lance also engaged with more than 1,000 Worthington City Schools students through gallery tours and live painting demos. Using art as a universal language, Post No Ills served as a bridge to bring people of diverse interests and backgrounds together for open dialogue and an increased understanding of urban art. The programming included exciting events like a DJ, dancers, and projections paired with Lance live painting a mural. There was also a jazz performance threaded with a live reading from poet Scott Woods while Lance painted in response. The effort brought together new audiences to experience art from artists across the city. Wave, we amplify voices for life stories. In early 2021, We Amplify Voices launched a project called Life Stories by training 15 residents of the Ohio Reformatory for Women in methods for collecting oral histories. Residents of the group are serving life or long sentences, including some who have been incarcerated for 20 to 30 years. The Life Stories team worked with the women over a period of 10 weeks. In the first half of the program, teaching artist Mikhail Raisin worked with the women to train them in interviewing techniques and narrative, while WAVE program director Annette Dominguez guided them through trauma-informed visual arts projects. In the second half, filmmaker Nicolette Swift worked with a separate group, training them to be the film crew, teaching them digital film technique and lighting design. The women then conducted and filmed interviews with each other. That formed the basis of a traveling exhibition that includes their interviews, behind-the-scenes multimedia documentation, and artwork created by the women. It's been showcased at the Columbus Arts Festival, Wild Goose Creative, the Shot Tower Gallery, and will travel to the Ohio Reformatory for Women. The project has empowered the women by giving them the tools to tell their stories in their own way. In the category of organizations with budgets $1 million and over, CATCO for Schoolgirls or the African Mean Girls Play. So, you are from America. Yeah. No, uh, well, I, I'm Ghanaian. I just have 
have been staying in the States for a while. In the winter of 2022, Catco produced the insightful play School Girls, or the African Mean Girls play, by playwright and Ohio State University graduate Jocelyn Bio. The comedy is told from the viewpoint of teen girls attending an elite school in Ghana. It explores the themes of class, colorism, and beauty standards. Directed by Chanel Marie, Catco's production received rave reviews, with one theater critic calling it one of the 10 best things he's seen in 25 years. Schoolgirls departs from the usual depictions of Africa as a place of extreme poverty and war. It was also Catco's first production with an all-black female cast, and the theater company built its design team by using black creative professionals from outside the world of theater with fashion designers, DJs, and visual artists filling key roles. Their innovation and risk paid off as schoolgirls became a word-of-mouth hit in Columbus, connecting with audiences and becoming a box office success. The production pushed boundaries and furthered Catco's mission of harnessing the transformational power of theater to inspire empathy in the community, using laughter and joy to tackle complex issues. COSI for Dr. B in 3. COSI's Emmy Award winning animated web series, Dr. B in 3, features Dr. Frederick Bertley unpacking big questions around scientific topics like molecular biology, computer science, the social sciences, and so much more. The series was created entirely in house, from writing and research to voice work and animation. It saw COSI engaging with potentially hot-button topics like vaccines, race, GMOs, and climate change using a fun, funky, and informational approach. In Dr. B in 3, an animated Dr. Bertley encourages audiences to see science differently using short videos that break down science concepts and demystify STEM learning with animation, humor, music, notable historic and cultural figures, and fun storytelling techniques. Shared through COSI's newsletters, YouTube, and other social media channels, the videos reach people where they are, creating exciting and accessible learning experiences for everyone and garnering thousands of views. Season one of Dr. B in 3 debuted in late 2021 and continued COSI's streak of making science fun and exciting for new audiences. Opera Columbus for 40 Days of Opera. To commemorate its 40th anniversary, Opera Columbus partnered with local organizations and businesses for a multidisciplinary citywide celebration titled 40 Days of Opera. It was a way to thank Columbus for 40 years of support while reaching new audiences, making opera more accessible and drawing people back to downtown Columbus post-pandemic. Opera Columbus's small but mighty staff put together an exciting presentation that included virtual and in-person performances, special events, pop-up shows, appearances at community festivals, and much more. Activities included concert stage performances of Leslie Burr's Van Cui, an immersive production of La Traviata at the Downtown Residence Inn by Marriott, performances at Coda Bus Stops, a Drinks and Drag event, virtual American Sign Language performances in partnership with Soul Signs Opera, and a demonstration about vocal cords at COSI's Science Festival with Wexner Medical Center expert Dr. Brandon Kim. The result was a vibrant and diverse partnership that gave people of all backgrounds the opportunity to experience opera as accessible, relevant, inclusive, and fun.